Hello and welcome to another lecture uh, for journalism and research online at Temple University. I'm going to do a brief lecture here about education and just to you know, start out, education is probably the most important issue to many families throughout the country, uh, throughout Philadelphia, and so therefore um, it takes precedence uh, about you know a lot of things. But it's tough to cover education. Uh, you're usually not allowed into schools uh, K through 12 without the permission of the administration, the uh, parents uh, of the students. Um, and, and also, it's uh, difficult to kind of understand how funding for education works. For the most part, the funding comes from the state of Pennsylvania with the addition of money from the city of Philadelphia. Then, over that, there are specific federal programs that um, the U.S. government funds. It's usually based on property taxes, for the most part, um, so that, you know, it's a, it's a complicated area uh, in terms of getting into the schools, figuring out how they're funded, and then putting together items like curriculum, teachers' salaries, budgets, that sort of thing. So the, um, the school district of Philadelphia has run into a variety of problems like most major cities. Here is the website, phila.k12.pa.us. It's make, made some headroads in, in trying to kind of turn the, the school system around, but there are still some problems. Um, so that <clears throat> this website provides you with, um, you know, contact information, quick links, um, uh, also uh, who is in the leadership team, such as Dr. Height, who is the uh, superintendent of schools, um, a variety of um, administrators on his team. There are also news stories that they put out. Um, some are useful, some are not, but uh, it provides you some basic information, maybe some possible stories. Um, and so uh, it also includes the budget, um, and so you can find budget information from this site. Now here is a kind of companion site which provides you with school profiles, and so you can go and find elementary, middle, and high school. So let's just take, for example, um, Strawberry Match in High School, which is near us, um, just uh, on Diamond and uh, and Ridge, and you know it is a you know the 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 neighborhood of Strawberry Mansion is quite poor. Uh, the uh, demographics are primarily African American, um, but you know here you can get um, enrollment, ethnicity, um, additional data, and so it's a, a useful site if you're looking at particular. Um, schools and you can also compare those schools with one another. Now here is probably the best source for information about um, schools in Philadelphia. It's called The Notebook. It's an independent uh, website uh, and news source which is funded by readers. Um, probably the best around in terms of uh, you know digging into education subjects in the city of uh, Philadelphia. Now, when we go to a national level, this is probably the best source of data for um, schools' education in the country, the National Center for Education Statistics. And what you can do here is you can look at um, the test scores from uh, one state, one city. You can compare how Pennsylvania is doing with uh, with other places, and so um, you know it's a it's a really good starting point in terms of uh, where you can find information about education, not only in Philadelphia, not only in Pennsylvania, but throughout the country. So just some brief brief observations and websites about education, and I thank you very much, and we'll see you online. Bye now.